Please stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, Pour forth we beseech you, o Lord, Lord, your, your grace into our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of the Minador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Felix Yambao and family, Perwell de la Peña, Santos Ildes, Alegre families, Lourdes Clem, Giuseppe Mesuti, Enrico Lusic, Manuel Ackerman, Patrick Sizer, Tiu Dukyun, Laura Orsinigo, Monica Lozano, Marietta Gube, Ophelia Doliete and family, Violeta Alonso and family, Liz Alba and family, Eric Angles, Ludgardo del Rosario, Angel Amora, Juni Amora and family, Susing Zabala and Remy Zabala, Father Michael Alvin Sequillo OSA, Medina Tapang, Leonila Generales, Laarne and Renmark, Christine Eliza Viador, Flor Eliza Viador, Richard Viador, Blanca Joy Duada, Venus Reyes Navalta, Aning Aquino, William Pell, Aurora Diemla, Gaudencio Siliona, Alejandro Magbanwa, Magdalena Enriquez, FAC, FEC, FCC, FVC, FMC, Charlita, Charlita Uy, Olivia Haveliana, Dolores Uitiempo, Jojo and Yen Hernandez, Alejandro and Esther Pablo, Sister Oblates of the Holy Spirit, Sister Oblates of the Holy Redeemer, Daughters of St. Paul, SSP Priest and Brothers, 
birthday thanksgiving of Alwyn Espiritu. Also, another intention from Ivy Rose Doplina. Eternal repose for the soul of the following. Ludgardo and Erlinda, Angelico and Estilita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Raul Jr., and Corazon, Jimmy Alba, Landring, Karing, Manny Almendras, Jesus, Olga, Ragsi, Maribel Alba, Albert Guidote, Nelson Doliete, Jeffrey Doliete, Felisa Nunay, Vicente Nuay, Benigno Simeon Noynoy Aquino III, Delphine Sr., Alice and Alfredo Ganapin, Isidro de Vera, Oliva Season, Lourdes Nadorata, Teresita Uy, Limnio Moran, Sabina Kish, Esther Kish, Marivik Kish Lalusin, Maria Marilu Camila, Francisco Siliona, Mario Chanco, Antonio Uy, Luz, Smiling Fred, Winda, and all souls in purgatory. Magandang umaga po, mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Ialay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, deboto, benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay alay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang ating Mass Presider ay si Reverend Father Dominador Domi Guzman Jr. SSP. Tayo po ay makisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa Banal na Eucharistia. <music>
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, in the ordinary churches and parishes, they celebrate today the memorial of the proto-martyrs of Rome. But by a special indult coming from the Vatican, the Society of St. Paul, and all the Pauline communities are celebrating today the solemn feast of St. Paul, the Apostle. Aside from the solemn feast of Peter and Paul that we celebrated yesterday. And so today we wish to pray for all the intentions mentioned and we take note of the intentions of our sponsors for today, Jojo and Yen Hernandez and Andy and Esther Pablo on the occasion of their 45th wedding anniversary. And likewise, we lift up to the Lord the intentions of our extraordinary ministers of communion, our lectors and our commentators in the parish. And today I'd like to specially offer the Mass for my younger sister, Marites Matet Guzman, who celebrates her birthday today. With all these intentions, we open our hearts to the mercies of the Lord, and we ask the Lord to make us enter the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace of people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you are alone and the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, who in a wondrous way chose the blessed Apostle Paul to preach the gospel, Grant, we pray, that the whole world may be imbued with the faith which he brought before rulers and nations for the increasing growth of your church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to me, You are my servant, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. 
and I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the tribes of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me and heard my cry, and he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought not, then said I, behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, no. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. I assure you, brothers, the gospel I proclaim to you is no mere human invention. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I schooled in it. It came by revelation from Jesus Christ. You have heard, I know, the story of my former way of life in Judaism. You know that I went to extremes in persecuting the church of God and tried to destroy it. I made progress in Jewish observances far beyond most of my contemporaries in my excess of zeal to leave out all the traditions of my ancestors. But the time came when he who had set me apart before I was born and called me by his favor chose to reveal his son through me that I might spread among the Gentiles the good tidings concerning him. Immediately, without seeking human advisors, or even going to Jerusalem to see those who were apostles before me. I went off to Arabia. Later, I returned to the Damascus. Three years after that, I went up to Jerusalem to get to know Cephas, with whom I stayed 15 days. I did not meet any other apostles except James, the brother of the Lord. I declare before God that what I have just written is true. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Saint Paul Apostle, preacher of the truth and doctor of the Gentiles, you are worthy to be glorified. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. 
You must be clever as snakes and innocent as doves. Be on your guard with respect to others. They will hail you into court. They will flog you in their synagogues. You will be brought to trial before rulers and kings to give witness before them and the Gentiles on my account. When they hand you over, do not worry about what you will say or how you will say it. When the hour comes, you will be given what you are, what you will be given what you are to say. You yourselves will not be the speakers, the spirit of your father will be speaking in you. Brothers will hand over brother to death and the father his child. Children will turn against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all on account of me, but whoever holds out till the end will escape death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mga minamahal kong mga kapatid, mga kasambuhay at kaparokya, kahapon, ang atin pong ipinagdiwang ay ang partnership ni Pedro at ni Pablo sa pagpapalaganap at pagpapalakas ng pananampalatayang kristyano sa pamamagitan ng kanilang magkaibang gawain. Si Pedro tumutok sa mga Hudyo, si Pablo tumutok sa mga hindi Hudyo. Kung tawagin natin yung mga hentil, at maliban po dyan, kanilang pinagtibay ang pananampalataya sa pamamagitan ng pagbubuis ng buhay. Sabi nga, the blood of Christians is, the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christianity. Ngayon, ang buong Paul, pamilya Paulino at ang Society of St. Paul ay nagdiriwang ng isang solong pagdiriwang para sa amin pong spiritual father, si San Pablo. At ito ay isang pribilehyo na ibinigay ng Batikano sapagkat siya nga ang patron ng kongregasyon. Ang Ebanghelyo kahapon ay tumutok kay Pedro sa kanyang pagiging foundation stone ng simbahan, sa kanyang kapangyarihan na magkalag at bumigkis, sa biyaya ng susi na binigay sa kanya, Malinaw sa atin pong gospel kahapon na naglingkod si Pedro bilang leader. Sabi nga sa Ingles, ang hiningi sa kanya ay service of authority. Ngayon sa atin pong ebanghelyong narinig sa mga salita ng Panginoong Yesus, tayo ay pinag-iisip naman tungkol sa gawain at kontribusyon ni Pablo na gaya ng sinabi ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang ebanghelyo, si Pablo ay isang gifted na ipinadala sa gitna ng mga mababangis na aso Magbabangis, mababangis na lobo 
sa gitna ng iba't ibang kulturang pagano. Si Pablo, tulad ng narinig natin sa Ebanghelyo, ay nangaral sa pamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu na binigay sa Kanya. Siya ay isang charismatic preacher, samantalang si Pedro ay isang institutional leader. At sa bandang dulo, gaya ng sinabi ng Ebanghelyo, Brothers will hand over brother to death. Ang kamatayan ni Pablo ay sapagkat pinaaresto siya ng kanyang mga kapatid na mga Hudyo sa Jerusalem. Yung ibang mga Ebanghelyo na atin pa pong na, ibang mga Word of God, Bible selections, natin na pong narinig sa misa ngayon ay nagpapahiwatig din sa atin sa yaman at kulay ng buhay ni Pablo. Sa ating pong first reading, kung atin pong iisipin ng first reading at ilalapat natin ito, Kay Pablo, si Pablo ang servant of God na tinawag ng Diyos mula sa tribo ni Jacob. Siya ay galing sa isa sa mga anak ni Jacob, ang tribo ng Benjamin. At sabi sa first reading, hinirang upang maging liwanag sa mga bayan tagapagdala ng kwento at mabuting balita ng kaligtasan. Sabi sa first reading, at the ends of the earth. Nung panahon po ni Pablo at ng Panginoon, ang ends of the earth ay nangangahulugan ng Roma. Kasi ang Roma noon ang sentro ng imperyo ng Asia at Europa. Kaya nga meron tayong uh, pananalita, all roads lead to Rome. Pero maliban po dyan, sa ating second reading, sa isang maikling pamamaraan tungkol sa kanyang sulat sa mga taga-Galasya, ay ibinibigay ang biographical note talambuhay ni Pablo. Siya ay nagpakadalubhasa sa relihiyon ng Hudaismo, ang relihiyon ni Moises, ang relihiyon ng mga Hudyo. At dahil po dyan, sabi nga niya, kanyang pinersecute ang mga unang kristyano. Isa siyang naging saradong hudyo. Pero nang siya ay tinawag ng Panginoon sa daan patungo ng Damascus sa kwento ng kanyang konversyon na ginugunita natin tuwing A 25 ng Enero, si Pablo ay nagkaroon ng kakaibang kwento sa buhay. Siya muna ay nag-retreat, sabi niya, tatlong taon. Tatlong taon na retreat sa disyerto ng Hordan, nakasama noon sa tinatawag na Arabia. Ang disyerto ng Hordan at sa tatlong taon na yon ng kanyang retreat sa desyerto, sabi niya doon ibinigay ni Jesus ang Ebanghelyo. Hindi niya ito natutunan kanino man. Kung hindi ito ay isang revelation na ibinigay sa kanya habang siya ay nakaretreat sa desyerto. 
At matapos ang tatlong taon, saka siya pumunta ng Jerusalem upang sa loob ng labing limang araw, kausapin niya ang mga leader ng simbahan, si Kepas, another name for Peter, ang mga haligi ng simbahan na sina James at John at ang isa pang James, ang kasin, pinsan ng Panginoong Yesus. Sa ating pong mga pagbasa, kung ganoon sa araw na ito, pinapakita na kung ang tao ay tinawag ng Diyos, ang pagtawag ay hindi lamang event, hindi lamang isang araw na pangyayari. Ang pagtawag ay isang kwento. Kung ikaw ay tinatawag ng Diyos, ang pagtawag ay ang kwento ng iyong buhay. Ang pagtawag ay habang buhay. Ito ang tatatak sa iyong buhay. Kaya siguro habang ating pinagdiriwang ngayon, ang naging buhay at pagtawag kay Pablo, tignan din natin, kumusta ang inyong sariling pagtawag? Kumusta ang inyong kwento? Masasabi rin nyo ba na sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya kay Kristo, ang inyong kwento ng buhay ay dahan-dahang nabubuo. Yan po ang tunay na experience ng pagtawag. It is not an event. It is the story of a lifetime. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, in the name of Jesus who rose victorious from sin and death, we come to you in this time of COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. And with humility and faith, we pray, Lord, we trust in you. Lord, we trust in you. That Pope Francis, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious will be constant teachers and examples of gospel faith, hope, and love, that they witness to the great power of the Divine Spirit, even as they encourage practical and social actions to alleviate the effects of the contagion, we pray. Lord, Lord we, trust we trust in you. you. That medical and scientific researchers, pharmaceuticals, doctors, hospital and healthcare administrators be guided by heartfelt human solidarity and by their conscience in their task to find cures for the infected and ways to stop the transmission of the virus. With vaccines and with every possible means available, we pray. Lord, Lord we, trust we trust in you. In you. That government officials and agencies in charge of general welfare and of peace and order be motivated by true love of all that they always give disinterested service due to all especially for the poor who are greatly disadvantaged we pray lord, lord we, we trust, trust in, you. in you that the sick and their families find the value of family love that supports and heals and the importance of sincere continuing prayer that bears fruit not just in healing, but in the conversion of hearts and minds, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in, you. in you. That owners of business, goods, and services 
and economic managers balance their money making with greater efforts to help their community, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. That help frontliners, peace and order frontliners, and other basic service frontliners be sustained in their health, in their family needs, and in their moral and spiritual strength, we pray. Lord, we, we trust in you. you. That the dead find eternal rest, that their grieving families find solace in prayer and in loving and caring for one another, we pray. Lord, we, we trust in you. That those who are healthy may not just be indifferent, but be constant in interceding for all and in sharing their time, talent, and treasure to sustain community and church services, we pray. Lord, we, we trust, trust in you. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal and community concerns. And for our disintentions, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we trust, trust in you. you. Father, we know nothing is impossible with you. In the name of Jesus, through the prayers of Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, St. Joseph, St. Paul, stop this pandemic and dissolve this virus. Lead us to your path of healing, cure, conversion, and holiness. Glorify your name forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We have this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, accept the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with the light of faith by which you constantly enlighten the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis Sao Pope, Jose Cardinal Advencula, our Archbishop, we also pray for Apostolic Delegate to the Church of Taytay, Palawan, Bishop Broderick Pabilio, all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and all the faithful present here in our virtual parishioners. Remember also your servants, especially the deceased members of Philippine Society of St. Paul, Philippine Macau Mission, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in that like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died because of COVID-19 virus and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, Mater Dei, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, protector of the Universal Church, with Peter, James, John, Andrew, and our blessed Apostle Paul, and all the blessed Apostles, James Alberione, Timothy Giacardo, Elena Guerra, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. We gather our prayers. We address them to the Father in the words of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and be saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We give to one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion Antiphon. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, his holy name. Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Today is also Wednesday of St. Joseph. And so at this point, we pray the litany of St. Joseph and Peace. the prayers. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Father in heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble son of the house of God. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Husband of the mother of God. Pray for us. Guardian of the virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the son of God. Pray for us. Faithful guardian of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the holy family. Pray for us. Joseph chaste and just. Pray for us. Joseph, prudent and brave. Pray for us. Joseph, obedient and loyal. Pray for us. Patron, pattern of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workers. Pray for us. Example of parents. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of family life. Pray for us. Comfort of the troubled. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of evil spirits. Pray for us. Protector of the church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Let us pray. God, in your infinite wisdom and love, you chose Joseph to be the husband of Mary, mother of your son. May we have the help of, her, of his prayers in heaven and enjoy his protection on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. To you, O blessed, blessed Joseph. Joseph. Do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. On the occasion of the solemnity of the Apostle Paul, we now honor the Apostle Paul with the litany in honor of St. Paul. Charity of the Father. Save us. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Animate us. Communication of the Holy Spirit. Sanctify us. Blessed Paul. Pray for us. You who obtain the mercy of God. Pray for us. You in whom the Son of God was revealed. Pray for us. You who were a vessel of election for Christ. Pray for us. 
you who were made preacher, apostle, and doctor of the Gentiles in truth. Pray for us. You whose apostolate was confirmed by marvels and wonders. Pray for us. You who were a most faithful minister of the church. Pray for us. You who gave the nations the gospel of Christ and your very life. Pray for us. You who bore the faithful in your heart and in your chains. Pray for us. You who were crucified with Christ. Pray for us. You in whom Christ lived and spoke. Pray for us. You whom nothing could separate from the love of Christ. Pray for us. You who were who underwent imprisonment and toil. Pray for us. You who suffered wounds and dangers. Pray for us. You who were taken up into heaven while still living on earth. Pray for us. You who glorified your ministry. Pray for us. You who awaited the crown after completing your mission. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who converted the persecutor Paul. Spare us. Lamb of God, who crowned the Apostle Paul. Graciously hear us. Lamb of God, who glorified the martyr Paul. Have mercy on us. At this moment, we lift up whatever intentions we have on this feast of the great Apostle. All together, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, our divine master, grant that we may defend it against all adversity through the powerful intercession of St. Paul, our teacher and patron, forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand. Grant, Lord, to those refreshed by the communion in the body and blood of your Son, that Christ himself may be life to us, that nothing may separate us from his love, and that attentive to the teaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, we may walk in charity with our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City, mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po. God bless you. Mother de la Rosa de la Pieta cares for you. Nais kong maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At mag-iisa sa gawaing makadyos at masaya Maglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa na Pirheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Tara nga Viva Mater Dolorosa, Virgo de la Pieta. Viva Mater Dolorosa, de la Pieta, ora pro nobis. Sa OLS, ituloy ang saya sa hirap man at pandemia. Pagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpap
paparatigay ay makakamtan Kapit lang sa Diyos ng lubusan Di ba ba ser dolorosa? Virgo de la Pieta Di ba ba ser dolorosa? Di ba Pieta Ora pro nobis Sa Our Lady of Sorrows Ituloy ang saya Sa habang panahon Kasama si Maria Ang mahal na tingkina Salamat po, O Diyos, Ama, sa pagpapala mong lubos. Sa krus ni Cristo Jesus na iyong anak kami tinubos. Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay at kain ng Maria, ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga. Viva Pater Dolorosa, Virgo de la Pieta. Viva Pater Dolorosa, de la Pieta, ora pro nobis. Sa Our Lady of Sorrows, ituloy ang saya. Sa habang panahon, kasama si Maria, ang mahal na ninginan.